Hi guys, Firebox here, coming to you with a different type of video. Of course, as you can see before me, is like a Minecraft type of video. Um, of course, I was kind of bored, so I kind of just decided to make this video. Of course, the uh, best mocks of last week will be delayed until tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And yeah guys, um, of course, if you do like the content you see here, please comment, like, and subscribe. But before like, we dive into what's going on in this video, probably ask him what's going on but uh, yeah of course that is of course these big massive explosions to all of which I've actually been setting up for the past four hours now so you yeah, guys let's begin with the first explosion now the first explosion was the explosion of a temple as you can see I'm setting up a couple of like TNT inside the actual sand temple here um, it takes quite a while to fill out the entire spaces of these, which is quite fun. But yeah, anyway, so excuse my aiming for this one, but I eventually get it, to be honest. This is probably going to be the smallest one. As you can see, it goes off, and it kind of lags my game a lot here. Um, as you can see, sand flying everywhere. And yeah, um, of course the damage is a bit less extensive as the other ones. Next one here is more or less a hole type of one. Um, of course, excuse my aiming once again, but uh, yeah, I strike the top of it and then boom. Here, yeah, here we go. So of course I built a whole entire TNT tower and it goes down to the earth. And as you can see, this one may not be as big as the other ones, but it's like a big, massive hole. As you can see, my game starts to lag again. And it's shaping out the train there. And it's quite a big hole, actually. Anyway, so at least like the third one here is more or less blowing up a mountain. Um, of course, I get that nail on there. Um, so yeah. Of course it explodes everywhere, laggy, um, sand goes everywhere, um, which is quite fun. And that's why I decided to do it in a sand biome because you have all the effect of sand going everywhere. Um, and it flies all over your face. As you can see here, the damage is not as big as some of the other ones, but yeah, it's still quite big considering it took off the whole entire top of the mountain. And then you have some sand down there in the ocean, right down to the bottom actually. Um, which is quite cool, it's quite a nice effect having like sand down at the bottom, like wee bits of sand. Next one here um, is more or less the inside of that hole a little bit more. More sand exploding everywhere, um, of course game lags. And yeah, it creates quite a big massive crater within the earth. Um, as you can see, a couple of things there, lots of sand everywhere. Um, as you will see for all of these, the sand will obviously go everywhere. Um, as you see, big massive homes, craters, things like that everywhere. Um, of course the sand extended out onto some more of the desert. And yeah, it looks quite cool, it looks like a bit of an abstract, something like that. Um, but the fourth or fifth one here is more or less blowing up that whole entire mountain as well as some, some other stuff. Um, of course, excuse my aiming again. Finally got it. And here we wait. Of course, explodes everywhere. This one's quite big. Um, so, of course, game lags. Um, sand everywhere. Smacked in the face by one, actually. Quite a lot of the time, which is kind of hilarious. Doesn't damage me or anything because I'm in creative, but... Yeah, of course it explodes everywhere, um, and then the game lags, kind of like pixelated type of thing for a stop motion or something like that. And then of course the crater here is quite big. Um, as you see, at least one type of uh, guy survived there, like a zombie or something like that. Um, so the crater's quite big, um, of course it explodes everywhere. Um, it also goes quite deep, um, there's also a small spout of water there. And for some reason there was somewhat of like a glow type of thing there in the corner. Um, but yeah, it took off the whole entire mountain and the whole entire front in front of it. Um, which is really cool. And then you have of course the sand that went down into a couple of ravines. 
And yeah, of course you get a better view here, Dark Cloud. Um, but yeah. Um, so the next one is more or less an explosion through a ravine, and this one's quite long. Of course, my game lags again. Um, this explosion is actually really, really long. Um, I think it took at least like a minute or so to explode fully, or like two minutes. Um, as you can see, game extremely laggy. Problem with this, um, I wouldn't necessarily try it because it could break your uh, console. Um, yeah, hope that. Thankfully, that didn't happen to me. But as you can see, the game extremely lags. Um, Surprised it didn't crash actually throughout these, um, which is our first for things like this. Of course, it keeps going, keeps going. Um, a little bit more here. It keeps going. It keeps going. Um, these things, if you made like an infinite chain of one, it would be infinite. Like I said, it would just keep going on and on and on. Of course, you would get an off wall of lag and then your game will crash keeps going keeps going keeps going this could go on forever um <laughs> sand literally flies all over your screen technically and it flies all over the, the desert um keeps going now actually keeps going keeps going and of course it finally finishes there um and then it leaves a big massive crater like this as you can see, there is sand absolutely everywhere. Um, it exposes quite a lot. Um, of course, you would think this is massive, but this is nothing compared to the next one. Um, as you probably saw with the like the title of this video. Um, but yeah, of course, the sand went literally everywhere. Um, into the ocean and things like that. Um, exploded parts of the mountain and... Yeah, overall massive. Um, it actually turned up on the map that I had, um, which is quite incredible because it's not that easy to get something, this, like, something like this in the map. And of course, we're on to the final one here. Um, as you can see, you have this beautiful village that's thriving with a whole bunch of villagers and things like that, trading, etc. But of course, you should, we have to blow it up. Perfect shot there. And of course, this one's extremely long, so be careful here. Um, of course, bye bye village. Village. It destroys parts of the mountain, and then, of course, it continues to lag for like three minutes straight, which is a bit annoying. Exactly, but um, yeah, of course, keeps it going, keeps it going. Sand literally goes all all over your screen. Um, I'm surprised my game didn't crash at this point. Um, yeah, it basically overloads basic the game. Um, of course, it keeps going. It keeps going. It keeps going. Keeps going. Keeps going. Keeps going. Keeps going. And then, of course, it keeps going. My la my game keeps going laggy. Um, sand. Yeah, if you were in survival for this, you would be dead almost immediately because the game would not allow you to survive whatsoever. Um, of course, it would probably disintegrate you. Um, of course, it eventually finishes here. And this is a big massive crater that he left. Um, of course, you have sand spouting out of the crater. Um, of course, it went all the way everywhere. Um, there's a couple of fountains there from the like the farm, and then there's some lava that kind of erupted out of the actual like a cave system or something like that. And yeah, it kind of just exploded everywhere. As you can see, sand all over the place. The sand actually went over to the uh, Tega biome or whatever you call it. Um, which is incredible, and it surpassed the other crater. Um, but yeah, guys, um, of course, that's the biggest one. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Of course, I hope you enjoyed some seeing some of these big, massive explosions. Of course, took an awful lot of time, and yeah. Um, next upcoming videos, of course, got an NTT video to make, um, as well as the greatest mocks of last week. Um, of course, there's quite a lot. Um, I think there's like 20 odd mocks to go through there um, and some of them are not entirely like your famous ones so hopefully you guys might get in but yeah of course um, 
But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, it, that's going to be it for me. I'm Inferno Bricks, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.